back. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while it's because I was struck down with a case of COVID. Believe it or not, COVID still exists apparently. I caught it at work and so I was down for about a week. I'm like 95% recovered at this point. Uh, but again, you don't want to get it. It's basically like a, a real bad flu. Uh, so it's kind of just watch out. It's still out there. Um, okay, so not enough about that. I'm actually doing a decon wash on the Impala. It's been three months since I have applied the Armor Detail Supply Pro Quartz coating on there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 3 pH wash. I'm going to use the Armor Detail Supply Decon Soap. I'm going to use Carpro D Scale. So I'm going to pre-soak it with, with this first. Rinse it off. Come back and pre-soak it with D Scale. And leave it on the paint. And then we're going to go ahead and wash with Shampoo Plus. I know I don't have the fancy label on this. But they sent me this before the labels were done. So I already have my buckets and everything prepped. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. Where I'm just going to compile a video. And see. I'm just going to push, put it together. And kind of do like a mishmash kind of thing. And see how it turns out. As far as a topper, I haven't decided if I'm going to use Amplify from Armor Detail Supply or top it off with the uh, Paint Hero from Dr. Beasley's. I have all decided that once I get on camera. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and I'm going to get right to the wash. I'm not going to showcase the, the wheels. Maybe I will. Uh, we'll see if I kind of squeeze that in there. I'm going to try to keep this within the 10 to 15 minute uh, time frame. So uh, let me get to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish the wheels. I may just take a video of me just doing one wheel to show you I'm doing a 3 pH wash system on the wheel as well so you guys can see how good the uh, armor detail supply wheel coating is doing as well all right be right back <laughs>
Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna do an outro on this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, it's a different format. Rather than me kind of speaking through the process, I just showed you the process. And so came back and kind of just give you final thoughts on the coatings performance three months in. So Armor Detail Supply Quartz Pro is doing great three months in. You can see it's hydrophobic, it has very fast sheeting on here, so it's doing very well at this point. You can see that the wheel coating is doing great and that the glass coating is doing great. So I wanted to do a deep clean and so I wanted to give it a 3 pH wash. And so a 3 pH wash consists of your alkaline wash, which is usually a higher pH. So like Armor Detail Supply uh, Decon Soap has a pH of 11. And then you come back and you do a foaming with Carpro D-Scale or an acidic wash. In this instance, D-Scale from Carpro, as I mentioned, has a pH of three. And you leave that on the paint and you come back with your wash process with your pH neutral soap. In this instance, Shampoo Plus from Armor Detail Supply rinse everything off and that really uh, cleanses the coating and unclogs the coating if you do have some sort of mineral deposit you may have to use a uh, mineral deposit remover in this part here and then of course you can come back with your iron remover uh, to remove any industrial fallout because this car does set outside 24 7 so i'd expect it to let there be some sort of fallout onto the uh, coated surface so uh, just sprayed that rinse everything off dry the paint off and then I came back with a fresh application of Amplify because Amplify is so easy to use. It's slick and it's glossy, hydrophobic. And so I went ahead and just used that on every surface, paint, glass, and wheels. Uh, and then I finished off the tires with Jeskar Tire and Trim Protection. So that was the full process of this. And again, the coatings from Armor Detail Supply are doing very well at this point, three months in. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, I do recommend their coatings here. Uh, if you can't get certified for the professional grade coating, uh, don't worry about it because their uh, consumer grade coating uh, quartz is a very good coating as well. And so you'll get this uh, very similar performance from that coating. So again, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.